Hey, what's up guys? You're watching the Boss Coin YouTube channel. My name is Drew Boss, and this is the beautiful Tails resident Shiba Inu and Doge. And today we're gonna be going over exactly, you know, what does it take to mine one Bitcoin here in 2020? I'm gonna run the numbers, show you exactly what it takes, what hardware, how long it takes, break even points, and everything else in between. If you are completely unfamiliar with Bitcoin mining, what is behind me right now is a loud, heavy, hot, expensive ASIC miner, application specific integrated circuit miner specifically. It's a Bitmain ant miner. If you're totally unfamiliar with this stuff, I know it'll kind of make your head spin. I know it's loud and annoying, so I'm not shooting the whole video in front of it. But yeah, so these are the things that currently mine Bitcoin and will continue to mine Bitcoin moving forward. Back in the day, you could use any computer to mine Bitcoin and you would have been mining hundreds of them. Now it's hard to just mine one with something like this. So without further ado, let's run 10 seconds of tails and jump into the video. Let's jump straight into it. Bitcoin BTC rank one by market cap and cryptocurrency. Naturally, this is the OG. This is the cryptocurrency. This is what really kicked it all off. The financial revolution that is crypto. All right. Well, obviously, I like Bitcoin. Everybody likes Bitcoin for the most part, unless you know you've got some coins trying to overtake it. Not gonna name any names, okay? But uh, yeah, uh, just just throwing that out there and it's currently trading at nine thousand five hundred and forty five dollars okay so first let's look at how many bitcoin are in existence keep in mind a lot of these coins have been lost forgotten sent to the wrong addresses and everything else in between uh, but essentially there's 18 million bitcoins that have already been mined put out into the ecosystem that's over 86 percent of all of the bitcoins have already been issued so there's a little bit under three million bitcoins left to mine but here's what's really interesting right 1,800 Bitcoins are mined per day. To be specific with that, there's a new block of Bitcoin mined. Okay, there's a block, right? And then this is blockchain technology. So every block moves the blockchain forward, the whole digital ledger and everything else like that. This isn't gonna be like a Bitcoin mining intro video, but just a brief background on that if you have uh, you know, no experience with that. So basically every time a block is mined, which happens on average every 10 minutes, then 12.5 Bitcoins are added into the circulation. Okay, and there's a Bitcoin block reward halving coming up that is going to cut this daily emission from 1,800 into 900. And this happens every four years. Before 12.5 Bitcoins are issued every block, 25 Bitcoins are issued every block. And before that, 50 Bitcoins were issued every single block. We have links out in, it, in the video description to everything we talk about today like this. But this is a nice little countdown showing you when the block reward halving is coming up. This is really critical because once this day hits, the inflation of Bitcoin is going to be reduced. Or at least like, you know, the daily emission, I should say, technically. And with that, if you have, say, a thousand dollars obviously a way smaller number but if you had a thousand dollars coming into the ecosystem every day now you would only need five hundred dollars coming into the ecosystem every day to maintain that current price right obviously that's not the correct number but you just you just you need half as much money coming in in order to maintain the current price so a lot of people speculate that the having will push the price up and that's just the brief background here so i could go on and on but historically after every having bitcoin has reached a new all-time high so we'll see what happens let's go ahead and jump into the meat of today's video it really is you know what does it take to mine one bitcoin here's one of my miners right an s17e bit bitmain ant miner one of the standard uh bitcoin miners of the current uh, hardware generation okay and right now over the last 24 hours it mined uh 0 0.001027 seven six seven bitcoin okay so just understand like it's already like that should give you a, an initial impression this is a two thousand dollar mining machine that i'm mining a tiny fraction of bitcoin with it every single day what does that translate to it in usd value it's i make about 10 bucks before i pay the electric bill one other thing to keep in mind is that historically right uh, the network difficulty basically uh you know how hard it is to mine with bitcoin just continues to go up it is just continuing to go up and up. Let's go all the time, right? You're gonna, this is gonna kind of stress you out. Uh, yeah, it's 
basically continually gone up forever with a couple slight dips following massive breakdowns in price but even with that dip we very quickly surpassed that with an all-time high so keep in mind moving forward depending when you watch this video it's only going to get more and more difficult to mine one bitcoin so let's move into actually calculating what does it take to mine one bitcoin here in 2020 okay so right now we're going to be using crypto mining.tools calculator link in the video description below they're also the sponsor but they really just have the best tool for doing this which is why we're using it so it just kind of lines up perfectly when you're when you come here you can input anything you want so for example we're going to use the bitmain ant miner s17 plus it's basically the best you know consumer bitcoin miner that you can get i say consumer but this thing is really made for industrial mining farms i, I say that because there are some big mining farms that have basically bitcoin miners that are not really accessible to the public but that's a whole other story so we'll take this basically the latest and greatest and the new standard in bitcoin mining once you put this in here you can see the daily amount of Bitcoin mine is projected to be 0 0.001175, which translates to about um, $11.40. This is factored with a 10 cent per kilowatt hour electric rate. If you want to know how to figure out how much you're paying per kilowatt hour on your electric, take your bill and divide it by the kilowatt per hours on the bill that they've charged you for, and you know, you'll get a breakdown probably somewhere between like five and 15 cents. So with this electric rate, it's gonna cost about seven dollars a day, which only, which means you're only gonna be bringing home four dollars and forty-two cents with this miner. This calculator also prices in the having. So with this miner, <laughs> over the next year, if basically nothing changes, uh, it's gonna lose three dollars and fifty cents with a residential uh, mining rate. I wanted to give you background on what one unit is, cost, and performs, and so forth. Again, it's about $2,000 mining machine. You know, a little more, a little less, depending if you're buying in bulk, and so forth, and when. So we click on that uh, cog again, and click on advanced, and we can really start putting some cool numbers in. What if we had four of these, right? And this would be their power consumption, and that's going to be the uh you know you can input whatever electric rate you want current bitcoin price right there the block reward which is currently 12.5 but in only three months from this video um going live it's going to be just half that you can also put in your hardware cost to figure out when you're going to be breaking even once you do that you'll see that with these miners over the next year i would mine one bitcoin but i would pay a Bitcoin in electric cost. So I'm really just washing out there, um, you know, as far as mining a Bitcoin and the hardware. So keep in mind, I'm going to have one Bitcoin, but I will have basically, you know, paid for one Bitcoin through the electric bill, right? And keep in mind that this hardware has a cost. So to do that with these machines I'm talking about would cost you about $8,000. Realistically, it's more like 10,000 once you factor in, you know, building out some electric infrastructure and everything else in between, you know, random bills that may be associated with this. So to be blunt, mining one Bitcoin is a residential at home miner is very very expensive and difficult these days unless you just have a great residential electric rate but let's look at this from more of a mining farm point of view and what exactly does that mean okay so i just talked about having four machines but what if we had eight machines okay eight machines so just to show you how i got here I'll grab the old calculator we'll take 58 divided by eight and that's going to get us pretty much down to 73 terahash a second, which is that S17 plus hash rate on this device. You know, basically how fast it mines, mining performance, stuff like that. And I timed everything by eight. Basically, you know, the power consumption is times eight. So you get a relative uh, power consumption there. I put in the hardware cost, you know, about 20 or, you know, 20 grand to get up to speed uh, mining with these guys in the current market and age of mining plus the uh, random associated costs. And then... I put the electric rate of five cents off of everything I've seen. I would say about five cents would give you like more or less the average mining farm electric rate. Okay. So if you put 20 grand into Bitcoin mining, okay, to open, and this would, you would be a tiny farm if you only had eight devices. Okay. You know, in the grand scheme of things, you'd be tiny. And this is assuming that, you know, everything stays the same which is not difficulty is going to go up. Hopefully price goes up to counteract that. Um, but this also prices in the Bitcoin block reward having, which is a big deal 
when it comes to calculations because you know say bitcoin didn't have look how much money you just made but that's not going to be the case you know it's going to be probably maybe something more like this again these are only calculations and those can only take you so far but if you had eight devices you would mine about two bitcoin over the next year but we're talking about how to mine one bitcoin and why am i showing you two very simple because you're gonna pay one bitcoin in electric cost so this is actually a formula to show you how to mine one bitcoin here in 2020 calculated projected you know disclaimer stuff like that so you would you know again you'd mine two but you'd have to sell one to pay for the mining of two of them so when you do that you've now earned about ten thousand dollars if nothing else changed but you know there's the whole ROI have, you know, break even points and stuff like that. So if you put 20 grand into doing this, you're only halfway to breaking even, right? So you would need some crazy price action in Bitcoin. You know, like if you mine two Bitcoins and Bitcoin goes like 50 grand or something crazy, right? And your bill here, you know, you have $10,000 bill and $20,000, you know, paid in hardware and setup, then you're still gonna clear 20 grand you know over this but you know to to bank everything on that going to 50 grand i mean that's quite a gamble uh you know i like to look at worst case scenario and if things go better than that awesome but you don't want to overextend over leverage and this isn't financial advice this is just for informative and entertainment purposes only yeah guys basically you know you can mine one bitcoin at home with just four miners for less than ten thousand dollars in 2020 okay but you're gonna pay about a bitcoin in electric costs if you have like more or less the standard us residential electric rate of about 10 cents you may have a better one if you put 20 grand in whether you're you know building out a small or large mining farm or you just have a great residential electric rate at home like say five cents so you put 20 grand in you're gonna mine about two bitcoins projected over the next year that's pretty cool and it really kind of goes to show how difficult it is to mine Bitcoin now. And with the halving taking place, it's gonna reduce you know, that daily um, emission of coins. So we're gonna reduce the 1,800 Bitcoins a day to 900 Bitcoins a day. You know, It's only gonna make it that much, it's, it's literally twice as difficult, all right? And if price goes up, more people wanna mine because it's more profitable. Uh, you know, it, It's gonna be a crazy interesting year and really just a lifetime with cryptocurrency and stuff like that. So I could go on and on. I love crypto. I love Bitcoin and all everything else in between blockchain technology. Hope you guys do too. If you want to learn more about crypto, just have fun. Want to you know enjoy the ride? You know support the mission here at Voscoin. Please subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel. We're chasing 100,000 subscribers, and uh, it's been it's been a long journey, but we're closing in. So I'm really excited. Please hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you, what you want to see more of, or just whatever you want to say. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.